Thank you so much for your company today. Now, driven by the global phenomenon of creative ageing, a collection of New Zealand seniors will be dancing their way to health and happiness in a very special show next week. Hunters and gatherers will play in central Auckland supermarkets for free to unsuspecting shoppers. Seniors Dance Company co-founder Susan Jordan and dancer Liz Nicholson join us now. Welcome, ladies. Yes, welcome. Great to have you here. Really lovely to have you here. Um, Susan, let's start with you first. First yes. up, what exactly is creative ageing? Well, it's a term that was coined by uh, Gene Cohen um, in Washington, D.C., back in the 1980s. He was a gerontologist, and he was doing research on the brain, and we know now that the brain keeps on dying right throughout our age, but if you're doing creative and using your mind, creative action and using your mind, new neural pathways are formed all the time, and dance is great for that. So creative ageing is a term is for older people, um, as Cohen said, um, ageing is not an illness. Mm. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a privilege. It's a privilege. <laughs> and it's an opportunity to try new things that you might not have had time to do when you were younger or had the money to do when you were raising a family. And um, I focus on dance because I'm a dancer. But creative ageing can be anything. Using the brain, using the body to create poetry, visual art, um, and I, I do dance, obviously. Well, no, and it's clearly working because your energy is palpable. I'm loving it. OK, um, j just quickly, uh, how did you get involved in dance in the first place? You've well, been doing it all your life, uh, haven't yes, you? Yes, yes. I started dance when I was seven, when my first teachers was Paul Gannat, who was the founder of the New Zealand Ballet Company. And from age 10, I was on the st professional stage, wow. learning the craft as an extra. Every time the ballet company came, or Borovansky came from Australia, then I was an extra. So I learnt not just in the classroom, but I actually learnt on the professional stage. Wow. I wasn't interested in creative ageing. I was um, studying in Washington DC in my 30s, doing, getting my masters at American U. I wasn't at all interested in seniors. It wasn't till I aged myself that I realised there was an opportunity. That you were, there. There's something in this. So yes. you, you're the co-founder of the Seniors Dance yes. um, as well. So what yes. made you decide to start this up? Um, well, it was an, I started teaching the classes, and Liz is one who's been coming. So I started the classes in 2011 and growing the business. And then in 2016, I started choreographing, and I formed the company for performing because a lot of people wanted to perform not just come to the classes. Yeah, exactly. And Liz, you are somebody that has come to the classes. Let's talk about your relationship with dancing. Was it the first time you'd done dancing when you went to one of the classes? I'd done ballet as a child, as I think most of us had done. <laughs> but yes, I, I saw the advertisement in, in our local paper. I think that's the wonderful thing. I just retired. And so I thought, this is a chance to do something that really interests me. And so what was it, what was it like when you first went along? What were your thoughts? I was a bit surprised at the beginning because we started in chairs and I thought, oh, um, You're, I'm not yeah, really. I can stand up. <laughs> yeah, I can stand. But Susan is so careful of our bodies, so we do our stretching exercises, right. we warm up, and then we do the, the, the creative bit. And it's, it's wonderful fun. What do you love the most about it? I think the, just the fun we have. Good. But also it has made me a lot more aware of my body and how my body works. Yeah. And I guess a great social time Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, we have a lot of fun. I bet you lot do. <laughs> watch out in the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> so Susan, tell us a little bit about this particular dance show, Hunters this and Gatherers. Hunters and Gatherers, I mean I often with ideas, I have them for a long time before they come to fruition. And um, I'm particularly interested about the eco situation and the amount of plastic that we're using. Mm -hmm. So um, I've been using my own bags, not using plastic, ever since I came to Auckland 20 odd years ago. Good. I can't understand why people are still using plastic. So the whole idea of hunters and gatherers, they take on characters, they, because they're right next to the customers, they can't be themselves, it's a bit scary. So they've all got cl um, characters that they go into. We have two trolleys. One trolley collects all the plastic, and the other trolley has no plastic in it. And then, um, and it, it, they, make, they do fun as they go along the line. They're pretending to shoot bow and arrows, to kill meat, to fish up fish, to dig up potatoes. It is, it's meant to be funny. No, well, no, and look, it looks fun too, and I totally get the hunters and gatherers thing. And Liz, I can see you there just in your element. How do the shoppers react when you're Very doing that? Very positively. Yes. Well, because supermarkets can be quite boring sometimes, yeah, can't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would react very positively. But it must be a, a little bit strange for them when all of a sudden you, yes. you, you, you yes. bust into this. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, there is an yeah. announcement. They're not totally overwhelmed. <laughs> yes. And music. Wonderful yes. music. And what was your first music. performance like? Were you nervous? No. 
No, not really. I think it just takes you over. You just you just go with it. And we were, you know, a close group. There's a lot of us. You wouldn't want to do it by yourself. Well, you've well, you got fun. the camaraderie. You're yeah. having having a good time. Mm. Why do you think it's important for the elder generation, I guess, to to do these things, to get out and dance? Oh, I think for our well-being, right. for our physical and our mental well-being, mm. it really is vitally important. And that's the wonderful thing about retirement. I'm doing things now that I never had the chance to mm. do. That you've got the opportunity. Yes. Why in the supermarkets? Why did you decide this was the well, outlet? It, I was first of all thinking outside the supermarkets. Um, but the, as I got further into choreographing it, and at, at the end there's a polka that they mm. do that's choreographed. Most of it, are, the first part is improvised, but the polka is a set dance. One trolley with plastic, they, one of the dancers holds up all the plastic and they say, no, mm. no, no. The other trolley, they hold up the recycled bag and yes, yes, yes. So it's a very overt message. It's not very subtle. <laughs> but, <laughs> <That's bad. laughs> uh, but, you know, we're having fun doing it. and. It was better to be inside the supermarket, so a lot of my time has been negotiating with the local supermarkets yeah. to go in and perform there. And they have been wonderful. Good. They've been really uh, welcoming to it. It's been really good. And we have funding from the local board, which has helped as well. So, yeah, why not do it in supermarkets? Exactly. We've done things there. in libraries. So a couple of years ago, we did mm -hmm. bookends, and that went around six libraries. And again, just popped in, did it, and left. Nice. Wow. I'm pleased that we got to spend a bit of time with you today. What's your favourite dance move, though? Can you show us one? <laughs> <laughs> do the poker. <laughs> do the poker. Oh, we, we, we do lots of, um, I do, in the class, I do lots of brain gyms. So left and right brain, and I put it to music, and I make it hard for them. Oh, yeah. awesome. You'd put me to shame for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. And Susan, you're off to the UK and the US. Yes, yes, I have an Arts Council grant to go look at um, senior, uh, creative ageing in Britain and it's Scotland, um, I'd like to get to Ireland, I haven't got time, part of America, going back to Washington DC, up to Canada, uh, over to San Francisco. So I'm looking at creative ageing because there's actually festivals going wow. and I'd love to get a creative ageing festival going here, yeah, really absolutely. pushing for that and also looking at seniors dance and what they're doing. The hardest challenge I find is making things simple enough for seniors Everyone. because yeah. I'm used to working with pre-professionals and professionals. Yeah. And so I'm, you know, I'm learning every we day. Is exciting. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I hope you tell it. That's way too hard. We can't possibly do this. Susan, tone it down a little bit for us. Oh, it sounds so great. I'm learning as we go. And so I want to see what's being done. Creative mm -hmm. ageing is really, especially in Scotland, they have a whole festival. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to know how, how, how they, they got there politically, mm -hmm. how they got there. Why it's so successful oh, it and why is it not happening? Yeah. So well, it will be happening, exciting. I'm sure, yes. very soon. Yes. <laughs> Thank you both Thank very much you. for joining us. Hunters and Gatherers will feature at eight Auckland supermarkets next Tuesday and Thursday between 1 and 4 p.m. It is free to all shoppers and onlookers, so make sure you give them a big wave if you see them. Check out the Seniors Dance website for further details. Thank you so much, ladies, for Thank coming you. in. Brilliant. <laughs>